Hello. Hey, what's going on? Yo. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cruzy here, and we've got a bit of a treat for you guys today. We've got a different kind of video. We've got a collaboration with my friend Harry here from Coastabot. And we're going to be opening this Tapu Coco box today. It's going to be a different style of video really. We're going to be uh, just sitting down, just free camera mode. Not, not putting it in on the fucking family kebab sticker this week. But yeah, we're going to be opening this. I've got another little treat to show you guys as well. So I guess we'll just get stuck into it right away. So let's go guys. Let's go. So, you probably remember that I mentioned that I've got a little treat for us before we uh, actually get into opening that box. Here, I've got two cards which I bought not so long ago off eBay, and they are decently rare. I've got these two pre-release Gyarados Hollows um, from the Team Rocket set. So this set was released in about 1999 or 2000, I believe, and obviously these are the pre-release cards, so they came out before the actual set themselves. I believe this is a, a rare card anyway from the set. So I'm thinking about getting these sent off and getting them graded. Hopefully we can get them back as maybe maybe an 8 or a 9 I'm thinking, judging by the quality. But that would be really, really nice if we can get a decent grading on two cards, which I consider to be very nice and very rare indeed. Okay, right guys, without further ado, let's get cracking into this Tapu Coco pin collection box, which I've been sitting on for about maybe four weeks now. By the way guys, I hope you are... Uh, Hope you like this outfit. I've got my, my leggings on and my Santa socks. I thought you guys would enjoy it, especially for you guys. Let's get on with opening this box, guys. I'm just gonna crack this open now and hopefully we can get lucky. We always wanna get lucky, let's go. Right, guys, so let's slip this out. Take off this lid. And first of all, guys, we've obviously got this pin. You can't really do too much with it, but they are a decent collector's item, I think, and they're always really good quality. Not my favorite pin in the world because Tapu Coco is not my favorite Pokemon in the world. But it'll do. <laughs> another one for the collection, I guess. Right, and here, guys, another uh, big part of this pin collection box is, of course, the Tapu Coco promo card, which is from the Sun and Moon promo collection. Another decent one that I'm just going to be adding to my promos binder. Right, guys, and of course, we have the three packs which we're going to be opening today. And we have got, by the looks of it, an XY Steam Siege. We've got a Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. And we've got a second Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. And if I'm not mistaken, the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising packs are the ones with Tapu Lele in them, which go for a lot of money if we can get a Tapu Lele. That would be really good. And of course, boys, for you guys who are watching this, the code card, if you guys want to use it. All right, boys, so here we've got our three packs we're gonna be opening today. I think we will start off today with this XY Steam Siege pack, being as it is the oldest pack. Uh, let's crack this open and see if we can get lucky immediately. Alright guys, finally managed to get into that pack. But you guys wouldn't know a thing. There is the code card off the back for you guys to use. And we're going to go one, two, three to the front. Don't know about energies as usual, so I'm going to be safe there. Okay, so we've got a Nidorino. We've got Pokemon Ranger, he's being a bit of a bossy boots. We've got Rapidash. We've got Clauncher, we've got Fletching, we've got Hopip with this design style which I'm not really a big fan of but it's usually quite common actually. We've got Sneasel just chilling out, we've got Mantine, we've got Mareep as our reverse, a really nice reverse again, I'm, I'm enjoying these reverses I'm getting lately. Any luck on the end for the first pack boys, we have got a Weevil. Piece of shit card, hey look at that. Terrible, absolutely terrible. Right boys, so nothing in the first pack but we've still got the two Sun and Moon Guardians Rising packs which we can get very, very lucky with. So let's crack those open um, without further ado, let's go. Okay boys, so our first Sun and Moon's Guardian Rising pack, let's see what we get this time. There is the code card for this pack, off the back for you guys to use. And we'll go one, two, three to the front. I'm pretty sure there are energies in this pack, but as always, I am being safe. Right, we've got Altar of the Moon. We've got Mallow. We've got Altar of the, S the Sun, the Soon. I don't know how that's pronounced. Litwick, cool little design style there. Gothita, the clay designs as well, really, really nice. Pancham. We've got Alolan Volpix. We've got Chansey singing us a tune. And as our reverse, we've got a 
Glally? Glally? I don't know how that's pronounced, unfortunately. And on the end, anything for our first Sun and Moon's Garden is Rising Pat Boys. We have got a Vanilux, which is uh, another shit card. Hey, terrible, terrible. But there's the energy on the end. I'll remember for next time. Right, boys. Luck has not been on our side so far. Two pieces of crap. Don't worry though. This third pack, I can I can feel it in my in my bones, in my blood. We're gonna get something, and it's gonna be good. Let's get on with it. Let's go. This is our second Guardians Rising pack, and hopefully this is gonna be the one where we get the goods. One, two, three to the front. Let's take that energy off the back. It's a fairy energy, right, guys? Okay, so we've got Watchog this time. We've got Weeping Bell. We've got the Multi Switch. Blasting out a fairy energy that we just got. Wilmo, he's looking a bit, little bit bloated, but okay. Beldum. Rockruff. We've got Matchar, he's flexing his guns. Trubbish, another cool clay Pokemon. Very nice. Field Blower as the reverse. I've already got this reverse, I'm pretty sure. And on the end, anything for our final pack today, boys. Please, let's hope we get lucky. We have got a Politoed. <laughs> Kill me! We've got a Politoed Hollow. I wasn't expecting to get anything at all, that's why the reaction was a little bit delayed. But a Hollow from those three packs, I mean, I'll have to deal with that for now, I'll take it. No GXs this time, no secret rares, but I mean, I'll take the Hollow, it's better than getting jack shit in all packs, right boys? So boys, not the luckiest opening ever, unfortunately, but we have got some really interesting cards. Um, obviously the Politoed Hollow is the best thing that we managed to pull today. And of course we've got this Marie Proverse, which I really like, I don't know why, um, I just really like the design of this Reverse. Okay boys, just for another quick review, um, Polytoed Hollow and that Tapu Koko promo as well. Two of the very nice cards that we managed to get today. I'm very happy with them both. That is going to be all for today's episode guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this new kind of style. And that is all thanks to my friend Harry over here from Coasterbot, providing this beautiful camera which we managed to use today. Of course, as always, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like, drop a sub if you're new to the channel, and drop a comment, it's always appreciated. Do go and follow us over on Twitter as well, I post there quite often. But for now guys, I think that's all for today, I will see you guys next Sunday, I'll see you guys soon, bye for now.